in this Southeast Asian region with outstretched wings of signaling colors. Its beat resonating from the vast royal sky to the very vein of all that hears. Delivering a message of lasting accord and abundance. That is the promise of Budaya, the festival of cultures. Keeping the flames of creativity and unity alive within the hearts of the Filipinos, the National Commission for Culture and the Arts, or the NCCA, along with the Culture and Tourism Ministries of Brunei Darussalam, Indonesia, and Malaysia, as well as partners from the local and national offices, launched the very first Budayao, the BIMP Ayaga Festival of Cultures a celebration of the creative diversity of Southeast Asian provinces, igniting the pride of their distinct cultures while discovering the parallels that unite them. We the team taking pride in creating the diversity of the Yaga region, I'm optimistic that they have just created a gathering that raises public awareness and appreciation on the landscapes and aspirations of the people of the region. Held at General Santos, this southernmost city of the Philippines is the center of commerce and industry for the 12th administrative region, appropriately referred to as Soksarjan. The region, with its fusion of ethnicities, is an ideal venue for the Budayao. Budayao is portmanteau of the Malay word Budaya, meaning culture, and the Filipino word Dayao, meaning beautiful, honor, or pride. This blending of tongues stirs the festival's objective that is to commemorate and fortify the long-standing economic and cultural exchange of the BIMP Ayaga. Our joy remains at the very core of our endeavors and it must perform its role as a moving force in the relationship of nations. As the prism through which we understand the world and the tool by which we shape it, culture serves as the path along which we open up to other people, to the great diversity of meanings and experiences. The BIMP Ayaga consists of neighboring areas from four Southeast Asian nations, Brunei Darussalam, Indonesia, Malaysia, and the Philippines. It is a cooperative that began in 1994, aimed to increase economic development within these regions characterized as East Asian growth areas. Historically, however, these regions had long been tightly knitted even before the creation of the BIMP Ayaga, stemming its roots further back to ancient trading of silk and spices. These groups of people really have already alliances before, but colonialism breaks them. Before we became colonized by the Dutch, the Spanish, the British, we were connected. And because of colonialism, we were separated as nation states. So we wanted to bring back that significance, no? that culturally we are connected. In 2008, established with the four pillars in order to focus and consolidate the various sectoral initiatives, enhancing connectivity within and beyond BIMP Ayaga regions, Establishing BIMP Ayaga as the food basket of Asia. Promoting BIMP Ayaga as a premier regional tourism destination. Sustainable management of the environment. And the fifth, which had been established in 2015, focuses on social, cultural, and educational. Like a prism reflecting the streaks, rubies, and gems, symbols of all four states, this five-day festival comprised of exhibits, performances, workshops, discussions, outreach performances, trade fairs, and other activities campaigning the exchange of culture and relations among the participants. Exhibited were collections of artifacts and pieces representing the rich history and artistry of various indigenous groups inhabiting the BIMP Ayaga.
Muslim in the Philippines Culture and History Exhibit uncovers the beauty of Islamic culture and identity through an assemblage of antique relics and chronicles both popular and new to mainstream consciousness. is a fabric made from dyed threads interwoven to create a mesh of patterns and shapes that can only be fancied at the very heights of imagination. Tapestry of Dreams, the Ikat Master Weaver's Pavilion Showcase, feature the works of Mindanao and Malaysian masters as the intricate webbings of the designs ensnare the imaginations of the audience. One Sky Visual Arts Exhibition gathered 20 visual artists from Sabah, Mindanao, Palawan, and Brunei Darussalam. Parading their works that had been splashed, brushed, and carved with an emanating sense of Asian pride and triumph. Audiences were also indulged to participate in workshops, allowing them to be part of the exhibition. Encouraging the continuous growth of tourism across the BIMP Ayaga was the Budayao Tourism Expo and Travel and Trade Fair. exhibiting various native products such as weaved crafts and delectable morsels. Attracting collectors, traders, and the curious alike. Travelers were likewise treated to an assortment of tour packages from travel agencies and tourism offices. You know, the difference is it's actually what attracts kids out there because we want to see how another person or another country or another region is different from us and that's actually a culture of exchange. That's actually getting a better understanding and getting a better appreciation of each other. Diversity of our world unites us to make us different or interested to explore, engage, experience the best of the local cultures and communities that have to offer. During the Budayao Colloquium, relevant issues pertaining governance, regional cooperation, and the development of culture and the arts were discussed by a number of scholars, policymakers, and cultural workers. Maybe people do not realize that uh, Malay, Indonesian, uh, the language of Brunei, and the Philippine languages all come from one parent family, the Austronesian, Austronesian family of Languages. Ideas sprouted and expanded from one conversation to another, resulting to a communal understanding among the participants. Rousing the spirits were performances by actors, musicians, and dance troops clasping with them their instrument of choice while donning vestments of glistening color. The Maharaja Luana is the Maranao version of the ancient Indian epic poem, the Ramayana. Thespians brought to life heroes, lovers, and villains 
equally familiar and unique. The theme and theatrics of each act are clear testaments to the Hindu influence shared by all four countries. silk bodies gliding and veering to the electricity of traditional dances, tickling audiences to a marriage of movement and measure. plucked string, tapped bamboo strip, and banged gong. These indigenous virtuosos cascaded the festival with stimulating beats and tunes. were also graced by the sweet symphonies of Mindanaoan and Malaysian talents. Festival, participants were brought to several localities around the city, the towns of Alabel, Malungon, and Maitum. An opportunity to be immersed with native customs and also impart their own heritage. Performances embodied far beyond themselves or their affiliations. The performances were a convergence of all four nations, melding into a single motion of grace, 
glory and beauty. Very happy to be here and I know all of you real people in Thailand, real food, real everything about Philippines. Thank you so much. The series of events and activities of the Budayao Festival acknowledge the universal truth that there has always been and always will be connectivity through cultural heritage. Pax Cultura. Budaya, the BIMP Ayaga Festival of Cultures had proven that when nations come together for a single goal, borders no longer exist, but a unifying connectivity towards harmony and growth. We want to foster this connectivity. We may be divided because of the sea, but I think we will be able to use culture, heritage, arts of the peoples in the region. I think that will be the one that will connect us. In Budayao, culture succeeds where politics fail. As the message of Budayao gently descends to a whisper, it hardly disappears like fleeting noise, but branded within the hearts and minds of the participants. Delivering it to their homes, expanding its reach, like the outstretched wings of signaling colors. Malaysia, <laughs> Malaysia, <laughs>